Okay, we've got a eight-way stuck dipole here. Eight-way stuck dipole with all its splitter boxes. Splitter boxes here, all wired across, all connected up, and they all terminate into this final splitter box here, which now is going through here, back to the. Uh, back to the 100 uh, watt transmitter we've got here. Well, we've got the 100 watt transmitter set here. We've got it actually set to, to uh, 50 watts because the little inverter here uh, gives up when we put it on 100 watts. But 50 watts is sufficient to test it. Now we've put on the reflective power, zero. So that means the antenna's working great. Okay, and there it is. Out the back of the transmitter, down there down there, across, and back up. Okay, and uh, bef before we did this video we also tested each antenna individually. Okay, and the SWR on each antenna individually was perfect too. Uh, we didn't bore you by doing a video on that, it's quite repetitive. But this is the final thing, so you can see the SWR is indeed at zero. This is set to a frequency of 103.7 for a customer of ours in Spain. Okay, we'll come back shortly. You need to look at the other things. This is at the end of the antenna, and you can see our field strength here is zero. Just look at the antenna that way. Okay. Now we're going to go out from the antenna okay and we're going to come round you can still see the meters at zero it's still at zero it's still at zero this is testing the radiation pattern for real this is not computer simulation this is real test now I don't know if you can see the meters starting to rise just a little bit as we get into the dipole you see, now it's rising. And now we can see a peak here. Look at that, off the end of the scale. As we go down, I mean, these, this is a near, near field um, radiation test. But nevertheless, it gives you the idea. We come down here, it's off the scale. It's off the scale. Still off the scale as we go down the dipole. Then as we come back, look, as we go off the end there, it just drops so rapidly. We've got a little rise there, a little spike there. And then we come down here. And here then really is a quiet area. And we can go really quite close. Just look at the antennas there. 
Now we can go quite close to the antennas. Go back to the meter. We can go quite close to the antennas. You can see really, really, it's really dead here. Only when we get this close to the antenna do we see it rising a little bit. So the signal really is dead here. And as we go back around the other side again, we start to get the same effect again. You see? The meter starts going off the scale again. So you really see the directivity of the antenna is working. Let's just turn around here like this. Go off the scale. Now, let's go back to the other side. Let's see, let's go back into the middle antenna. Let's see how far we can actually go back. Right, we're approximately in the middle antenna here. Beautiful signal. Okay, let's work our way backwards. Let's see how far back we can go. Okay. We may be what now? 25, 20 meters back. Okay. And it's dropped a little bit. Let's calibrate the meter there. Okay, let's go from the side to side, see if we can really see the, the pattern. There's a little rise there. Need to go back a bit with the camera. Okay. You can see, the signal really does boost you though. And that's actually intentional. Because there's a slight tilt on this antenna downwards of the horizontal. If you consider the horizontal to be the horizon, there's a slight tilt on this antenna down by about five degrees. So there's a little bit of the maximum power lobe. It's just five degrees down. Okay. And as we get down there, it goes down to zero again. And we can go right back to where we started. As we get to the ends, this is the bottom of the antenna when it's mounted vertical of course like you see back down to zero and look it doesn't matter how close we go to the antenna this is zero at the ends even even when we're this close look at the antenna even when we're this close the meter's reading zero 